is Stormy Strike here and I'm really excited because I got two Briarfest special runs from Briar's like leftover special runs for Briarfest 2017. Yes, I did it right this time. 2017 Briarfest two special runs. They sold out of four of their special runs so I didn't get a chance to get Vahana or like another Bollywood surprise or Indu. But there were, I did get uh, Saffron and Kali here though because I did really want both of them. And with Saffron, I don't know if he's going to be glossy or matte. I'm actually kind of hoping he's matte for some reason. Mostly, I guess, because I would like to film with him, maybe. Whoa, there goes a, a, a receipt. And so, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping I get a matte, but I'll be happy with glossy, too. This little thing came in there. Whoa, check that out. Briarfest 2017. Celebration of Horses Evening Spectacular. So that's kind of cool. And they have like a little little picture on the back here of uh, Guy McLean, or Lean, Guy McLean. Yes, and there's his horses, his funny little horses. They're so sweet. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know Briar was gonna include that. So that's, that's fun, right? Yeah, that's fun. So who should I open up first? Maybe Kali to save these. It's, okay, Briar, this is a little questionable how they packed this because they put Kali in here sideways because she's long but probably should have used oh they should have used a bigger box I can feel her like rubbing against the sides of the box okay I'm a little worried now I'm a little concerned about her condition but we will uh we'll get to that um putting this box over here for now and we'll get to saffron you know what let's just pull saffron out too there we go how about it? Just bring the whole gang here. Just pull everybody out to hang out and whatnot. Okay, I'm super excited about Kali because I love my Yasmin to death. And so I can't wait to have another model on the Yasmin mold. And this tape is a little harder to get off than I remember. Okay, come on, Mr. Tape. You can do it. There we go. I don't want to rip the bag completely. I know sometimes people will just like rip through the bags and the bubble wrap, but I don't like to do that because I like to reuse the bags and the bubble wrap, especially if I'm like bringing the model somewhere to show or whatever. So I really don't like ripping the bubble wrap or the bags. So that's why I'm taking my time and being careful here with this. Sorry if you can't see what I'm doing. I keep Moving the bag out of the way of the camera. Alright, come on, Kali. Or have you say it. I'm just going to say Kali. I know it's like after a uh, Indian god of some sort. Or goddess, I mean. Indian goddess, I believe. Yes, something like that. Not too familiar with Indian culture. But, oh my goodness, here she comes. Ah, she's so pretty. Here, actually, let me zoom out a bit. There we go. That's better. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I will admit, like, I've heard people say that people don't seem to be, like, talking about her as much. I've seen plenty of people talk about Indu and Saffron and, of course, the Bollywood Surprise, but no one has really, really talked about this girl, and I don't know why, because I think she's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that body. Wow, she looks so pretty. Uh, I love that this is... I'm sorry if the light's like too bright. I love that it's actually like resist apples, kind of. But like just teeny, teeny, tiny little resist apples. Oh my goodness, because she's supposed to be like a Rubicano. But they didn't really do her like they did uh, Don't Look Twice. Like she's kind of different. Oh, wait, is she a Rubicano or just a Sabino? No, I think she's Rubicano because of that tail, but... Boop! There's your tail. Whoa! Look at that tail! That is beautiful! Oh my gosh! Hold on, we need to take a moment to look at this tail. Like, they painted it really well. Like, oh my gosh, I love this. So, what I love about this is that... I'm sorry, I keep getting out of the camera's frame and it's driving me nuts. I'm very sorry these videos are so long and weird and random. But, oh my goodness, so what I like about this is that it has like the nice airbrush fade of white, but then it also has a little bit of masking on some parts as well. I 
because she's got masking at the top. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at the masking right there. Oh, that's gorgeous. This is really nice. Like, I haven't really seen Briar do this kind of, like, look before, I feel like. This is really nice, though, because it's giving... If you can see that, like, yeah, look at that. It's so cool. I think this looks really, like, a really nice way for Briar to de uh, ma mass, like, detail a mass-produced model, if that makes sense. I don't know. There's just something about this that I think is really nicely well done. Oh, my goodness. She is gorgeous. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to take her out of this plastic, though. Let's see her face. Let's see that pretty face of hers. Oh, my goodness. She looks perfect. I don't see anything wrong with her. Glancing real quickly. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. There's like a weird little, uh... Actually, that looks like it might come off. There's like a little piece of, like, sticky something or other. I don't know. Can the camera focus on it? It's weird. It's like right... Oh, there you go. You can see it. It's shiny. I don't know what that is. I think that can come off, though. Oh, look at that. This is so pretty. It says Briarfest 2017 on the bottom. Oh my goodness. She is beautiful. And that face, though. So pretty. And again, I spoke too soon because she has like a little shiny mark on her cheek. Otherwise, she looks really nice. She looks perfect. Her face marking is really well done. Absolutely gorgeous. Love those eyes. Simple black eyes, but they look very, very glossy and nice. Oh, she's beautiful, and she also has that beautiful um, spotting on her chest. I'm not even going to try to take her out of the box, honestly. I mean, out of this plastic part right now. But I love the little masking right there. I love her leg markings. That leg marking is really cool. Goes all the way up there. Really cool. Okay, she's gorgeous. Very happy with her. She was definitely worth, uh, was it 65? 75. I think it might have been, ended up being 75 to pay for her on the Briar website, but she is worth it. I love her. She is everything. Can't wait to put her with my Yasmin. All right, now for the um, exciting part because I don't know who I got. Now, I actually was able before to figure out on Namid if she was glossy or not by like looking at a little piece of her leg that was sticking out behind the bubble wrap sort of but it is really hard to tell if a model is matte or glossy when they're in the plastic like this but let's see how see if we can get it right or not I'm gonna test my test my skills right now and see if I can figure out if it's a matte or glossy before we completely take it out here I'll do the first wrap of the first strap here let's see let's see if I can tell at all gonna be hard um from what I'm seeing I'm gonna guess based on what I'm looking at here on this hooves as legs and kind of the feel I'm feeling a little bit too I'm gonna guess he's matte from what I'm what I'm feeling what I'm kind of seeing that's my guess he's gonna be matte I could be wrong I hope he's matte though I want a matte one I actually wouldn't mind both, having a glossy and matte, but for right now, I would like a matte one. Let's see. Oh boy. Aha! It is a matte one. Wow, I was right. I was like, oh, it's going to be glossy. Just wait and see. Oh my goodness. I'm happy though. Like seriously, I'd like a, I'd, I'd like a glossy too, but I really wanted the matte. So I'm really, really happy I wanted the matte one. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I haven't gotten to see any of these like Briarfest models in person until I actually bought them. Whoa, his chestnut. I'm sorry, you can't see this, but because um, he's like a little out of frame. But his chestnut is weird looking. Look at that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Look at that chestnut. Like it just like burst it out at me. It was like, hello, look at me. I am a weird looking little chestnut on his leg. Can you see that? That is the weirdest looking chestnut I've ever seen on a briar. If my camera will actually focus. Do you see how weird that is? It's glossy. It's kind of blue looking and like, it looks like a shell. Like a, like a, like an Al Albany, Alban, I'm not even trying. It looks like a weird, 
like iridescent shell. Come on camera, focus. There we go. Do you see that? Is it just me that thinks that looks really weird? <laughs> like it's really weird. Like it's really heavily glossed. I think if the one on his back leg looks like that, what about the other ones? The ones on his other legs. They look like that too. Whoa. Oh, look at that one. Look at that one. They just look so weird. They look so weird. I love it. <laughs> they look weird. I like his weird looking chestnuts. That's crazy. Like, I don't know why Briar did that. Like, I don't know if they necessarily look more realistic because all the horse chestnuts I've seen in person are usually very dry and like crumbly and don't look that good. But they made them glossy, which is just weird. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of digging it though. It's weird. You're a weird little horse. Oh my goodness. Look at those dapples. Actually, I'm liking his dapples. They're a little fish scaly. I don't like, you can't really see maybe because the light's too bright here, but the, they kind of end abruptly. You can kind of see it. Like, there's dapples, and then there's not dapples. I don't like that. But the dapples are fairly subtle, so it's not super noticeable. They're very subtle on his uh, haunches here. He's got very, very beautiful shading. Love the shading on his shoulders and his chest. Very pretty colors. Um, I don't know what's up with these, like, weird marks going on. <laughs> That's okay. I kind of wasn't planning on showing him because I really don't need any more horses in my show string. But he is pretty. Oh my gosh. He's got leg bearing. Leg bearing. Crisp bright markings. Love that dun stripe on his back. That is gorgeous. Very nicely done briar. I love that. I love the coloring on him. I love he has just the little, um other little dun striping mark there too. His mane, I'm sorry I haven't even done his face yet, we're gonna do that next. His mane is really cool, it's actually semi-glossy. That's weird. You're, they like kinda went all out on like trying some new stuff on this model I feel like. That is pretty though, I like how it's not solid, it's got two colors going on, like a dark brown and then a really 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 dark brown. The other side it doesn't look as good though. You can kinda see where they uh, painted it there, that's okay. His tail is beautiful. Beautiful tail. Little tail. Alright, now let's actually do his face. There's his face. Eh, I just noticed he has some weird marks on him. Can we also say his finish is interesting? I know the glossy ones are like really sparkly and metallic-y. Not really metallic -y, but they have like sparkles in them. The matte one actually has sparkles too. I'm gonna try and show it to you the best I can. Oh, before my camera really decides not to focus. But can you guys see that? I don't know if you can or not. But it is kind of sparkly. He's got sparkles in his finish. Like he's got glitter in him a little bit. It's not super noticeable, but when you get up close, it's like, whoa! This horse has glitter on him! This is so weird! That's He's a weird horse! Here's his little Briarfest stamp, by the way. There he is. He's a weird looking little horse. His face is adorable, though. I love the little spots. Got a little uh, lip spot. Two lip spots. He's got one on the other side too. He's got a spot on his forehead. Got some pretty glossy black eyes. And they're not blue by the way. That's just the the light that's doing that. Making them look kind of blue there. But his eyes are not blue. Even though like that they look like they're blue. They're not. They're black. Oh I love his little spots. They're so cute. Look at that. Oh I think he's very sweet. And very, very cute. I like the Geronimo mold. I did a review on that before last year. So I'm very happy that Geronimo and Yasmin are both getting little friends now. So that is super awesome. And this guy is really pretty. I think I do want to get him in glossy one day. But I'm very happy with a nice, nice little matte one. Oh, he's lovely. So there you guys have it. There's, oh, come here, Collie. Get over here, you. There's these two beautiful, beautiful Briarfest special runs. I absolutely love them. I am so happy to have them, and I'm hoping to find the other... Okay, just fall down then. I'm hoping to get some of the other special runs later on, maybe for Christmas or next year's Briarfest. I don't know. But I'm very, very happy with these ones because they were definitely two of the ones I had to have. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I'm kind of random and weird and... I don't know. That's just how I am. That's how this channel is. But very, very happy with these guys. So, so excited. 
Hope you guys enjoyed, and hope you have a super, super duper awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!